Welcome to my crazy life. This is Lori and I have a Timu haul for you today. I know. And this is actually part of a two-part series. I believe this one is going to be part one. I think on my last video I said it was part one, but it was really part two. This is part one. Uh, yes, and as always, or as of recent, um, this stuff was sent to me for free, but it is my opinions that I will be sharing with you. So let's get into it. I do not have a ton of stuff here to show you, but I will show you what I got. I grabbed this tank top, loungewear, t-shirt. It's like a, it's like a loungewear. I'm going to use it as pajamas um, for sure. And it's just a long like night shirt. And I love the racer back. It is a bizarre fabric. It is not cotton and it's very see-through. So just be aware of that. Uh, but I got that for pajamas, summer pajamas. And then I got this dress. Um, this is kind of that, I mean, I love the pattern. I believe there are pockets. There are pockets. Um, it is the stripe. I love a stripe. It's a little snug on me. I bought the 3XL, which is what I typically wear, but in the middle, it's a little form fitting. I would go up a size if you're wanting something a little looser. I mean, but it even has a little bit of shape waist or a little waist shaping in there. Um, if you're anything like me, the stripes do not line up, so just be aware. Um, this could also be a night shirt. How much was this? This is a color block. It was eleven forty six. It's not like the soft cottony material, but it's not rough at all. It is definitely stretchy, polyester for sure. But it's super cute. And I think it would be enjoyable to wear. Now, what else did I get? Oh, for some back to school stuff for Sarah, I showed you a bunch of stuff in the other video. I also picked up, and we'll share this because neither one of us are gonna need 400 of these, but they are um it's like plastic page markers you can write on it with like a sharpie and put it in your book if you're trying to mark a section to go back to so if i wanted to mark something in my planner I can, you see how you can see through it and i can write on that with a sharpie you just want to let it dry for a second and then it it comes off it's like a post-it there was a whole rage where everybody was using the clear of these, and now they just came out with different sizes and shapes. Um, and you get 400 of them, so I'll give her some and I'll keep a couple. I always keep a couple, like the purple in that color. And she can have the rest. And maybe she won't even want them, I don't know. But she's getting them in her little back to school kit. And then I'll keep three for me. So when we're annotating things. Also, I grabbed, and I'll have to go through these before I give them to her. These are outdoor stickers. So she has a lot of boys in her class. Not that girls can't have these, but I think, you know, it says there's like outdoor cycling. I think they're all outdoor cycling. They are. They're outdoor cycling stickers. Um, but I love these for like my water bottle and stuff. So we just want to go through and make sure nothing is, um, oh, that's pretty. It's inappropriate for teenagers. You know, oh, I like this one a lot. So I'll give them to her um, for her classroom. And if the, she has like, she teaches high school English, so they're old enough. Um, yeah, she does like book club and stuff like that. So I'm sure she'll want little prizes and things. Um, for me, I picked up, I've always wanted one of these, but I never wanted to spend the money on it. It's one of those things. It is a universal socket. And I am curious to see how this thing works. But what it is, first off, it comes with the attachment for your socket or drill. And then you 
put it in whatever bolt you have and then it, these hold it and then they turn. So it'll fit any size bolt. Um, yeah, we'll see what it, I mean, I think if you went, you gotta kinda really give it a good push in there to get it down in that center. But we'll see. All right. I saw it and I thought, well, hey, that's fun. And we'll try it because I'm building a bicycle that I was sent. <laughs> so I need tools. Um, the next thing I received was, or ordered, is this is bare copper wire. I'm curious. Um, on building something with it and using it. I saw on TikTok people were taking wine bottles and making um, like propagation bottles is what they're called. So you take a plant and put it in the wine bottle and then you use this to hold it up so it's pretty. And I saw another, a jewelry maker that shows you how to make this harder because you know, it's, it's pretty soft wire but there's a way to harden it up. So we're gonna see. So I'm like, well, I need some wire. And I picked this up and it is copper in color, which I think is fantastic. I'm actually gonna leave it in here so that I have it when I need it. Um, and goodness knows when that will be. Because like I said, I've been crazy. If you haven't been paying attention to my channel, I just released a planner, a cross-stitch planner that I've been working on for about six months and it's been consuming my life. Um, I also was sent a laser engraver, a laser cutter engraver. And so I picked up some wood sheets to use with that. And this is a smaller millimeter. This is nice and thin. Like I could cut this with, I could cut this easily. I think it's two millimeter. If you watch this, I mean it, I could cut this easily with a straight edge, but I cut, I'm cutting out some little things and I thought the thinner might work out better. So you get eight sheets of it. And it was not expensive, $11.98. And I remember buying on Amazon, the three millimeter one piece was like eight dollars a basswood. So, um, but for what I make, what I would like to make, which is like ornament size or smaller, like two into three inches, um, I don't need a heavy duty wood because it's there's not a lot of surface area to bend. So we'll see what becomes with this. I'm gonna stick that over here. Guys, I really wish I had a reason to use all of these chemo bags they send me, or maybe they should just stop sending them now. I'm gonna throw that out there. All right. Oh, so for next year, I am gonna be going. You you probably don't remember, but I went to Picnic with the Pops, and they had an ABBA tribute band. And at this concert, they do um, table de table decorating contest. We are gonna leave this in this plastic after I show you because it is all kinds of sticky. So there, I think that band is coming back next year. So I got this jewel to make my ABBA table to do something for the de decoration. I'll probably have to order some more, but because it's gotta be blingy and silver. So I ordered that. Sparkle and Shine, I believe is what they're calling it. It was not expensive. It was, was it? Oh, $1.68 for a roll. I'm going to have to go back on and order a bunch more to decorate something. I don't know what I'm decorating yet. It's next year. Um, I do have a lot of other sparkly silver stuff. I'm putting it back because the sides here is sticky and I don't want it picking up cat burn stuff. So we'll leave this. So I'm gonna get a basket or a drawer and put all the stuff for the decorating for the ABBA concert. I also got one of these. I need to decorate it, but it is a bubble blower. I need to put batteries in it. I think you dip it and 
turn it on and it blows bubbles. I know, how exciting is that? And then you put, it came with decals. I was hoping, and I might end up still buying one that you just fill it with bubbles and don't have to keep dipping it into things. But it's okay, I'm putting the stickers on it. Yeah, you just dip this in and then you spray. I would love to get one that just blows bubbles all the time. So we'll see. But this was super cheap. If you have any littles, this was, I don't know. Oh, $3.99. It lights up too. $3.99. I got to put the prices on the screen anyway. Uh, for crafting, I got a set of three hole punches and they cut the circles. I really just wanted this one, but I like that one too. And that one would be fantastic for other things. So I needed them all. Um, I don't, I'm assuming you know what a hole punch is, but here, let us show you on a piece of paper. Oh wait, these were post-its, oops. Oops, they were, they are post-its. So we're just going to, And it cuts you a nice hole. So these are nice ones too. I'm just doing all three sizes. These are nice. That's a fun size. Yeah, so I got these. They have a little hole in the bottom, you know, a little that will catch your, um, your little cuts of paper depending if you want the circle or do you want the hole. But I didn't have any of these, so I decided I needed to get the set. They're great to have in your craft space. And on my last, next video, I'm gonna show you these, and I said, well, they're not like sticky note. They are. They are sticky notes. Oh, I got this. I don't know how much it was. It is a... It is called a infrared thermometer. I don't think there's batteries in here. I don't think so. But you put batteries in it and you shine the laser and it tells you in Celsius or Fahrenheit what temperature a surface is. It's great for sauces. It's also good if you're trying to heat up like a skillet or something and you wanna know what the temperature is of that surface. Um, they use it on the cooking channel all the time. I wish it was a chargeable, but it is not. And it does take, I think it looks like two AA, two AAA batteries. Yeah, pretty cool. So now we'll know what temperature things are on the surface. The surface temperatures, that's important. I actually want it more for cooking, but you know, whatever. We'll use it. Okay, getting down to the wire here. I picked up, I wanted this before, but they were out of stock. So that is the one thing with Timu. If you see something and it's out of stock, go back because they got these back in stock. It is for cross stitching. It is a needle minder. I'll tell you what that is. But it's a big old Monstera plant, which I love. This is a big one. So what it is, is... Eh, eh. Well, there's a magnet in the back that doesn't want to come out. And maybe that one's stuck. Hmm. There should be two magnets. This magnet and one on the inside. And you put your fabric in between. And then this will hold your needle. So you don't lose it. And I love it. Because I love plants. And it will... I'm trying to find metal. I don't have anything. Maybe... These aren't metal enough. But anyway, it is a needle minder. But I'm curious, I'll have to see if I can get, if that is the magnet or if it's missing a magnet, which magnets are notorious for sticking to each other. Also, I got, I'm not gonna take this out because 
um, there's little pieces in it. It is a little tiny embroidery hoop. It's not used for doing the embroidery, it is used for display. So you cut, you embroider something tiny, right? And then you put it in here and there's a back for it. And then you can display it. You can put it on a necklace. Uh, you can make a needle minder, you can make a magnet. Super cute. And I love that it, you know, you put your little thing in here and it has all the pieces, including screws and a bolt. So I grabbed that for crafting along with that. Also for crafting, I am obsessed with scissors and I don't really know why. I love scissors. Um, these were fun. I was thinking they were smaller. I was thinking travel. Yes, I can travel with these. These are more like what I would consider like a bonsai tree trimmer, like a bonsai plant situation. Let's see. Um, the last pair, yeah, these are nice and sharp. The last pair I got ended up, I'm using them to trim plants when I'm taking cuttings and stuff. But these are good little fussy cut, little crafty scissors. They're very sharp, which is nice. And they have a nice sharp point and they cut well. It's a little much for cross stitching, if you have hard time with your hands, because you can get your whole hand and thumb in there, these are great. I'm definitely going to use them for crafting, paper crafting, I think. Because we don't use our paper scissors with for um, crafting. Okie dokie. Um, I thought I took everything out of its plastic, but I did not. I just got this because I'm obsessed. It's the Golden Girls. Now, of course, they don't advertise it as the Golden Girls, but we all know that it is. And it's just a little zip bag. What's going in it? Don't care. I needed the Golden Girls. Ugh. But it's a nice little zip. Not a YKK zipper, but it does have the hole here so I could put a charm on it. And it's perfect like pencil pouch size The in the back it's um like a canvas but i'm obsessed i may have to order some more with that i love it we're gonna do a thumbnail perfect then the last three things are all kind of the same the same, not the same item, but for the same craft. I picked this up. These are crochet hooks. It's a full set. I haven't opened them yet, but I'm curious. Actually, I bet you they'll fit in here, which would be great. So this is a rainbow crochet kit. And they have polymer clay on the outside to help be more ergonomic. They are not lettered. So I was, that's what I was curious. Did, were they lettered or numbered or both? These are numbered, which is fine. A quick Google search will tell me what the corresponding letter is. But you get a full set. And this is nice and soft. It is polymer clay. But it's nice and soft. And it's a little larger to help you hold them. So let's see if they will fit in here which they absolutely will. What is that? Something in here is poking me. There's a sharp thing inside that bag. So this is great. And they even go down to the tiny, tiny, oop, teeny, tiny, if you wanted to stitch lace. That's a tiny little crochet hook. That is a seven millimeter. So they have all the different sizes. It was like $9. I'll have the price on the screen. And it fits in my little Golden Girls bag. And I can keep them all together when I'm ready to learn how to crochet. Because I'm going to learn how to crochet. To go with that thought, okay, I picked up this kit. And there will be a video out probably next week comparing this kit from Timu, which was $8.48, to the Woobles kit that I purchased that is $30. 
I don't know what's in here um, 100%. It doesn't really tell me completely what's in here. I know what's in a Woobles kit, but I bought a Woobles kit and I'm going to open them both. So I'm not opening this to show you because I want to do this on this compare video that I'm going to make. But if this is comparable, this is $8.98. The Woobles is $29 at Joanne. I think they're upwards at like $29 and up. But they do come with everything and your good video instructions. So we're going to have to see, compare, and contrast the two, which we will do shortly. But I got this one, and it is a little dinosaur. So cute. I know they had single kit. They had double. They had triple project kits. So we'll see. This is called DIY Handicraft Professional Starter Pack. It's a professional. So not opening it because. Um, I want to make that video, but I will open this and hope I don't get a mess everywhere. And this is the last thing I picked up because it's definitely something I want to use. And I hope there's like instructions in here, like how to put it together or what to do. It's kind of heavy. No, no instructions. Um, I don't... I guess. Oh, nice. So it does come. I will tell you what it does. It is a block. It's a blocker for crochet, like granny squares. So when you're crocheting granny squares, you make a square, hence the name. What you do is it comes with these, which this is a great little thing. I don't, there was no pricing. I got to figure out that pricing. But anyway, Oh, and you get a little needle in here. Oh, you get lots of needles. But what you would do is say, okay, I need my square or rectangle. It's gonna be this big, right? But they're all gonna be wonky because it's it's, it's yarn. So you wash them, you, you soak them and wash them, and then you put them on here and stretch them out and you can stack them all the way up. And when they're dry, you don't have to soak them, you can moisten them, but when they're dry, they are all the exact same size so you can sew them together. So this is to block and make sure everything is a consistent size when you are gonna go and sew those granny squares together, which is the goal. Do you have to do it? Probably not. I'm gonna to learn to make granny squares, I tell you. And so, um, I have got a lot of needles in here too. So it comes with a whole bunch of the metal pieces that go into these holes. And then it comes with a whole lot of metal embroidery needles. These are big because you have to get the yarn through here and this is what you would use if you're sewing them together. You can stitch the blocks together too, but if you're sewing them, you need those little needles. Um, why there is a display board, um, I don't know. Unless I'm putting my blocks out to be shown or maybe for storage, it can go like this and then I can just set that back there. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, this is a nice thick piece of wood I'm excited. I can't wait to learn to make granny squares and then make a blanket or something. Actually, I want to make a sweater. So this was something I've been on the hunt for and they had it available. And I thought, you know what? It's a good price and it's definitely something that I would like to use. So that is everything I got for Timu Hall 1. All right, everybody. I hope you enjoy and I will talk with you later. Bye.